Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Viligandla. In this lesson, you will learn how to create a custom list in SharePoint hosted app. So along with that, you will be learning how to create site columns, content types, and list definition and list instance within the SharePoint hosted app. So we'll take one of the simple example where you want to store employees details within an app in SharePoint okay so to create these things let's open Visual Studio I have Visual Studio 2013 so to create a new project go to file new project and from here choose app for SharePoint so let's name this one as listing SharePoint hosted app click OK so once you click OK it will ask for the site which I want to debug this app I am choosing my office 365 developer site at this site where I have chosen a developer site site template and here the app type would be SharePoint hosted app click finish to create the project so it will ask me to enter the credentials so let me enter the credentials okay once you once i enter the credentials the project will get created successfully now the project has been created successfully now you could see my project is listing sharepoint hosted app and there are different sections uh, feature package content the images required for that the pages and the scripts so these are the uh, different sections of the hosted app project which i have just created okay and also have app manifest.xml where i can configure the required configurations for sharepoint hosted app so first I uh, will start with creating site columns site columns is the ones uh, yeah. what type of data we want to store it okay so before creating site columns just add a folder name it as site columns and to add a new site column I'm gonna right click add a new item so in the pop-up dialog box what we will choose this we will choose a site column here here it is I am going to name this one as employee first name okay click add now we have added a new column so let's make sure that this doesn't have any spaces within the internal name okay so this is just a single line text let's add one more column a new item and uh, employee last name okay this is to store the last name of the employee okay now uh, I have created two columns which is single line text so whenever you uh, these are the single line text so whenever you want to add the columns with multiple lines of text or user field uh, the person field or different types of columns so you have to change this XML content because from Visual Studio whenever you try to create it will add the single line of text so I just added employee first name and last name I'm gonna use some of the existing site columns within the site so I'll now start creating a content type for the employees so let's add one more folder call it as content types okay now from here to add a new content type click add new item choose content type here I would say city EMP details this is my content name okay and once you start creating content type it is going to ask from which parent type you are going to inherit from I will just choose the item content type Okay. 
if you are working with document library you can change it to a document so it's it's it depends on your requirement so just click finish here now once i click finish it will create ct employee details content type based on the name which i have given so you would see here let's go back to the content type tab here so i can add, i can add my own a description and i can change the group name okay so i'm just leaving all these sections as it is okay now let's go back to the columns what i could do here if i just click here it displays all the site columns within the site and also the newly added columns within my solution so let's go ahead and add the first name so when i type amp here i could see that the column is appearing now employee first name so just choose that one okay let's make it as required and next one is amp last name required next i need to add some more columns which are already available let's say employee address okay and employee department okay what else employee start date okay the last one is employee salary okay so i have added the con the columns which are required to show up in this content type now once it is completed just click on save so now we have created site columns and the content types to be required for this to store the employee details now what we have to do is now we have to create a list definition and list instance within the sharepoint hosted app so let's add one more folder name it as a list okay so this is basically if you if you just minimize all these things it helps the folder structure so that's the reason i'm creating different folders for each section so now right click add a new item I choose list here now i'll name this one as employee details okay click ok now it will ask me from which a template i have to create a list template and list instance so these are the templates which are available a default announcement calendar document library links tasks i'm going to go with the custom list template okay just click finish now once you click finish it creates a list definition and list instance and here by default i have chosen the item content type so so the title is coming along with that so you could you could change the views and you can add what are the columns you want to show it here and what is the row limit okay and you could see here so what are the details you want to show whenever you open that list instance whether you want to display that list in the quick launch so all these settings can be done from the visual studio itself okay so now we have a content time so what i would do is if you want to add the columns you could add here from here itself but these are it will show it as a list columns but not the site columns are the content type so you have one more option here at the bottom to choose the content types let's go ahead and click the content types now the item based content type is already have a couple of them so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add the content type which we created so this is CTE employee details and I'm gonna make this one as a default one so whenever you want to add a new item this would be available click OK now I can see here all the columns which I have created are available so just make all of them mandatory now we have created a list and we have added the content type to the list okay just make save and if you want to see the scheme of the file list you could see here okay and this is the instance of your list okay now we have created the required site columns content types and 
the list definition which is required in the SharePoint hosted app. So this is the developer site. So what I could do is I can just press F5 here to see whether my list get deployed or not. So before doing that, if I just deploy it, what happens is whenever the app is get launched, it will open the default aspects. But let's see if I if I want to control that, I'll just try to make this list all items as a default one. So to do that, to do that, let's go to app dot app manifest dot xml file, and here you have an option called start page. So this one, I'm gonna change it to lists then i'll say employee details so whenever i launch it it's going to open this list rather than the default page so let's press f5 so it started deploying this app and you could see uploading this app for sharepoint after installation now installation is in progress Now it was installed successfully. Now it launches the app automatically. Okay, now I can see here. So we have deployed the app successfully within the SharePoint hosted app. You could see by employee name, employee last name, employee address, employee department, start date, salary, etc. So you could go ahead and click add a new item and fill the details and save it okay you could see also the url is different so it's within the app so, so far in this lesson you have seen how to create site columns content types list definition and list instance within the sharepoint hosted app to store employee information thank you for watching this session to watch more videos you could log on to sharepointjourney.com